Good evening. Hi, Todd. Good evening, everyone. Do you want to say welcome to Chaplet Mondays? Welcome to Chaplet Mondays. <laughs> Hi, Bernadette. Hi, Bienvenida. How's everybody doing tonight? The boys are here. Gonna be praying with us. Hi, Claudia. Hello. <laughs> David's managing the the camera. Camille. Hello, Miss Dolores. The cats are with us. Hi, hi, Amanda and the Reyes family. Mia's gonna be praying with us tonight. Mia was. St. Kateri at our Vacation Bible School. Hi, Miss Elena. So you heard right. Tonight we are praying the chaplet of St. Kateri Tekakwitha. And her prayer sheet is on our website at hrccr.com. hrccr.com. Actually, it's not an early birthday. Amanda, David's birthday is today. So we're going to be lifting up David in prayer today and all the boys and but today his birthday is actually today yeah. and we're just gonna have some party stuff tomorrow so hi Mia we're so glad to pray with you Mia this is gonna be one of your patron saints now doesn't have to be your confirmation saint but we can all all have multiple patron saints they're so amazing hello Miss Josie okay you can find the prayer sheet at hrccr.com for St. Kateri Tekakwitha. Mm -hmm. I do have a little typo that I found. Uh, the, the feast day was incorrect on this header. I had Googled this photo. Funny story, in Canada, her feast day is April 17th, like the image says. And Canada is the area of this continent that where she is from. So they still celebrate her feast day on April 4th, 17th. In the United States, her feast date is July 14th, which is why we're praying her chaplet today because it's coming up in two days. Uh, you can celebrate a saint any day, but she's got two feast days, which is cool. So uh, July 14th and April 17th in Canada. Um, saint Kateri Tekakwitha was born in 1656 in the Mohawk village of Osterninon. Do you remember the Mohawk? Do you remember studying the Mohawk? No. No. I remember like Mohawks was a very big tribe some of the other ones, but. in the North American continent. Um, and so she lived in the 1650s. Ooh, Elena, good. That's a good prayer intention. So we're we're gonna lift up Miss Elena. She had an endoscopy today. Uh so Saint Kateri's mother was actually an Algonquin Indian. Native American who was captured by the Mohawks and so and then she married a Mohawk chief so she was kind of a princess in the Native American um, uh, in her Native American tribe she did get smallpox as a four-year-old and that left a lot of her body scarred and she was very ashamed of it for a very long time that's one of the things Mia talked about um, that she kind of lived with kind of shame for her body having the scars from smallpox. But not only that, it actually took a lot of her family uh, who did not survive smallpox. Um, she, so she was raised by her uncle who was a chief of another Mohawk clan. So she lived there as his, as his daughter. Um, she was very well known for being a skilled worker. She was diligent, she was patient, she was kind, um, but she refused to get married. She did not want to get married. She wanted to give her life to Christ. Well, at the time, I don't know that she knew of Jesus at this time exactly, but she knew she didn't want to get married. And it's, it's during this time that she met um, Christian missionaries and she became to believe in Jesus Christ, which is amazing because we know the Native American tribes are not generally Christians. There are a lot of Christians, uh, Native Americans now, but back in the 1600s, they had their own belief system and their own religion. 
Um, so her uncle wanted her to, wanted to kind of betroth her, um, but she refused to marry the man that he had chosen for her and that made him really upset. They did punish her by giving her more work to do, but she didn't give in and she kind of embraced the work and offered it up. Um, eventually they were forced to relent. They couldn't force her and they accepted that she had no interest in marriage. So when she was 19, that's when she actually converted to Catholicism. She took a vow of chastity, meaning she would give her body and soul to Jesus and she would never get married. And she pledged to marry only Jesus. Her decision was very unpopular with her uncle and aunt and all of their neighbors and their entire clan. And she was, she was treated kind of uh, poorly for that because she was, I mean, in, in their eyes, she was rejecting, you know, the faith that they grew up with. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so she started to get accused of sorcery and witchcraft and she realized that the only way that she could continue living in peace was if she left and so she did leave her family and her tribe and she moved in with a christian native community south of montreal that couldn't have been easy to leave everything she knew and her entire family but she made that choice because she knew she wanted to give her life to christ and she wanted to live the faith and she wasn't able to do that with her family um, according to legend, she was extremely devout and she would put thorns in her sleeping bag. Me, I don't know if I shared this with you, but she would kind of punish herself and she would live with little things that she could offer up. So she would put the thorns in her sleeping mat so that she wasn't comfortable when she slept and she would offer that up. And we taught a lot about offering up at this last, at the lock-in we had for the high schoolers over the weekend. So we're gonna be lifting up a very special intention, very close to my heart, very close to our parish, but we pray for the repose of the soul of Leo who did pass away this weekend on Sunday morning. And on Saturday night, the high schoolers were having a lock-in. So we stayed up all night and we dedicated the night to Leo. We had midnight adoration and we were playing games and, and, um, and having a, like a mini retreat but we um, dedicated the entire night to Leo and then found out um, early the very next morning. Everyone was still awake. It was a no sleep lock-in retreat um, and found out that he had passed. And, you know, I had, I had taught the teens about offering up and I had asked them to, you know, if, if at any time you're not feeling well because you're staying awake all night, just offer that up for Leo, offer it up for peace and offer it up for some kind of relief for him. And then we found out he passed away. So it's an opportunity for our teens to understand the body of Christ and understand how we are all connected and Leo will always be with us and always be a part of who we are as a parish and as a youth ministry. Um, so uh, one of the other things, some of the other things that Kateri did, St. Kateri did was she would fast a lot. And we're very familiar with doing that during Lent, but she would fast year round. Um, she would offer a, you know, her hunger. Um, and when she would eat, she would make the food very bland and kind of tasteless or give it kind of a sour taste or too salty. She would intentionally make it not delicious and she would offer that up. I know most of us, look for comfort food. We look for things that make us comfortable. We don't think about purposefully making ourselves uncomfortable, right boys? We don't think about like, how can I make myself uncomfortable today? We're kind of always making sure that we're comfortable, right? Sometimes our beds, our, like our pillows. Are... And, but when you do that, as long as you do it and you do it as a prayer and you do it to lift up, you know, to glorify God, then it's a gift. It's a gift to God. Um, so she did at one point burn herself to offer that up. And we find out later that that was very common in the Mohawk tribes to actually like self um, inflict pain on yourself to kind of um, learn self control, learn um, not to be at the mercy of your own body and whims and pleasures and desires, which I mean, there's some goodness there, but um, 
But we all have to determine what it is that God's asking us to do to grow closer to him. And it's not always self-mortification. Um, Kateri was also known for building little wooden crosses and putting them up all over the forest. And I love that Jonathan loves to make, whenever we have flag, uh, I mean, fence posts that come down, Johnny will make me little crosses. I take one with me on retreat. I think the last one that I took, I actually showed the kids, right, Mia? I brought it with us to VBS, mm -hmm. and I showed the cross that Jonathan made, and I used it as an example for what um, St. Kateri would put all over the forest. And I think that's just such a sweet way to kind of share Jesus with others, you know, to kind of, they'd just be walking in the forest, and then they'd see a cross, and it was handmade, and it was, you know, placed there by Kateri. Um, but she was also very sickly. And so I think, you know, having smallpox as a child and her body just never really fully recovered. So she passed away very young age. She was only 24 on April 17th. Hence, that is why April 17th is her feast day in Canada, which is actually the area of the continent that she's from. So in Canada, that's her feast day because it's the day that she passed away. Her name is actually very significant. It is the Mohawk form of Catherine. And her one of her favorite saints that she loved to hear about was St. Catherine of Siena. And so she took the name Katiri as the Mohawk form, which I think is really beautiful. She was canonized by Pope Benedict the 16th on October 21st, 2012. So she hasn't even been a saint for... Has she been a saint? What's the year? Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. And when did she? Become she a saint? was canonized in twenty twelve. So, nine is it years. about to be ten years? Right. She's about to be ten years in October. Ten so that's and, pretty nine cool. Nine and a half years. Almost a decade. And she's the patron saint of the environment and ecology, uh, which I think is so beautiful. Uh, we should always be praying for our earth. We should always be taking care of our earth, uh, and protecting it because it's the only one we've got right and god gave it to us but he asked us to be good stewards over it so it's important that we take care of this right. gift that we've been given boys don't get rowdy please we're still praying okay or we're about to pray um she's also the patron saint of people in exile because she kind of put herself in exile out from her home and she's the patron saint of native americans and it's very important to know that she's the first Native American to be recognized a saint, which is really significant. That's really beautiful. So her chaplet is really beautiful. Yes. So this is her chaplet. Her chaplet um, consists of 24 beads in groups of eight. And I don't have a tiny saint, but the tiny saint, they didn't have any left at, at the Little Flower Bookstore. The tiny saint is so cute. Whenever you, if you have a chance to look that up, it is adorable. Sharon's got one. But here is her medal. And so, as you can see. Do we have the same one? Yeah. Okay. There is her medal. She's so beautiful. And this is the chaplet, 24 beads. 24. All right, so you'll notice okay. there's significance in the colors. The brown is significant. It's the symbolic of the earth. Red is symbolic of blood. And the white or blue is symbolic of water. And I also like to think of red as fire. She had a fire inside of her. She had the Holy Spirit inside of her. And I love that it's like the elements, right? Earth, fire, and water. I think that's really cool. And then the Holy Spirit is the wind, right? So there you've got the four elements. Um, and the chaplet is relatively simple to pray. So there's an opening prayer and a closing prayer. And then you'll just do eight Our Fathers, eight Hail Marys, and eight Glory Bees. Easy. All right. Can Oops. I, do... I think we start on brown. Go ahead and do the red one. one. You want to do the red ones? That's the whole Hail Mary. Perfect. Okay. Well, but right before we start our prayers, let's look at all of our intentions for tonight. Again, I'd like to pray for David on his birthday today. Yay. I'd like to pray for Sharon's son who's having his birthday on, is it on St. Kateri's feast day, Sharon? You said it was Thursday. What's today, Monday? Today's oh no, Monday. it's the 15th then. It's the 15th, but that's okay, it's club. Uh, we are gonna pray for Bernadette who's gonna have a procedure next week. Ooh. So we are gonna, yeah, she's gonna have surgery. So we're gonna pray for healing and it goes, the hand over, yes, that it goes well. And that the doctor's hands have the, the Holy Spirit in them. We are 
gonna lift up Elena, Miss Elena, who had an endoscopy today, mm -hmm. and she's waiting for biopsy results. So we are gonna pray for good, clean results. Hi, Tim. We are gonna lift up Tim's sister, who is dealing with a lot of health issues right now, and we are gonna ask for healing upon her. Mia would like to pray for her grandma's health. So we lift up Mia's grandma. Miss Elena would also like to pray for her sister-in-law, Donna, who passed away last week. Mm. Sharon would like to pray for the soul of our dear Leo. Yes, we lift up Leo today. Um, I believe, I know, he went straight to heaven. He had suffered so much on this earth. There's no purgatory time left for him. He did it all here, and I know he's praying for us. So we're going to also ask St. Leo Zapian to pray for us. Um, and we are going to pray for all who've lost their battle to cancer, including Sharon's dad, Simon. Bienvenida would like to pray for the repose of the soul of her cousin Juanita, who passed away. And we lift up your family, Bienvenida, as you, as you live with that grief and mourning. Sharon would like to pray for favorable weather that farmers can get in their fields and harvest. Yes, we need the rain, but not too much rain. There's too much flooding now, and we don't want our farmers to lose their crops. Miss Lenora would like to lift up all of her grandchildren and her daughters, and she would like to pray for all cancer victims. Should I go bring the dogs in real quick? Well, you can just tell them to stop barking, I think. Miss Dolores would like to pray for peace in this unpeaceful world. Amen. Amanda would like to pray that the fire stop in California. Oh, that's Mia. Good job, Mia. That's a great prayer. That the fire stop in, in California. We should pray for the Oregon fire. I got a notification. Pray for what? The Oregon fire. Oh, there's fires in Oregon as well. So we're going to pray for the fires to stop in Oregon as well. For all fires and all flooding. Yes, Tim is giving us details. Okay. For his sister, Marjorie, her heart is only working at 30% right now. She needs a triple bypass, but can't get it right now because of other illnesses. So, Tim, we are lifting up your sister. We are praying that the other illnesses, that they can get control of them so she can have the necessary surgery to get her heart working. And Claudia would also like to lift up Leo's soul. And we pray for Leo's parents who are living now without their son. So we lift up Elsa and Javier. Claudia would like to pray for Lionel, who has colon cancer. And I also pray for my friend Rachel, who has colon cancer, and my friend um, Randy, who's um, going through a pretty aggressive chemo for lymphoma. Um, and she's praying for you on your birthday. Thank you. Amanda would like to pray for healing for her knee. You see a doctor on Wednesday. Amanda, be careful. We will pray for that. Um, Claudia would like to pray for gun control. There have been a lot of shootings. I don't know, David, if you saw the news, but there were so many shootings over um, July 4th weekend. That's terrible. I think people were taking advantage of the fireworks, which is terrible. Bernadette would like to pray for her son, who's going through some mental issues right now, and for herself, as she'll be having knee surgery tomorrow. So we lift up your son, Bernadette, and we lift up your surgery for a successful surgery and for quick healing and recovery. And if you need to add intentions as we go along, please feel free. For now, we'll get started on the crucifix and the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Ethan and Jonathan, don't forget to pray with us. Can we start on the cross? Thank you. The... We can start on the crucifix. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, so the metal is, sometimes there's a, Kateri centerpiece, but I didn't have any, so I just added the metal. So there's a crucifix, the Kateri centerpiece, or we've got Our Lady, and I think you've got St. Joseph. I put St. Joseph on yours. Oh, we pray for Mia on at her theater camp. Mm. That's great. All right. Do you want to do the opening prayer, or you want me to do it? Uh, can you? And then mm -hmm. I'll do, like, these All right. Then the little. Perfect. Sure. Okay, we'll start again in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Kateri Tekakwitha, our elder sister in the Lord, discreetly you watch over us. May your love for Jesus and Mary inspire in us words and deeds of friendship, of forgiveness, and of reconciliation. 
Pray that God will give us the courage, the boldness, and the strength to build a world of justice and peace among ourselves and among all nations. Help us as you did to encounter the Creator God present in the very depths of nature and so become witnesses of life. With you we praise the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Amen. On the beads, brown beads for earth, we pray the Our Father. Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be, I, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. <coughs> oh, I almost said Hail Mary. Our uh, Father, Mary, who yeah. art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this, oh, give us this, this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Ethan and Jonathan, <coughs> come downstairs. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our, our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So on the red beads for blood or fire, Ethan, you want to do the Hail Marys? You will? Okay. Go ahead. Loud enough? Do you want the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed are the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Oh, sorry, I missed you. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. On the clear or blue beads for oh, water, sorry. we pray the glory be. <laughs> glory be to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All right, before we do the closing prayer, we have a few more intentions. So we lift up um, Amanda would like to pray for all those who suffer with breathing troubles, especially with the Sahara dust coming in. It seems to come in every year. Dolores would like to pray in Thanksgiving for good results for her husband's tests. Aurora would like to pray for her grandma's foot to heal. AJ would like to pray for all the farmers. Miss Lenora would like to pray for her sisters. Anthony would like to pray for him. Who would Anthony like to pray for? For himself? Do Anthony, do you need prayers? We'll pray for Anthony. Okay, they're probably gonna write the response that, okay, so on the centerpiece, or the crucifix, you can end however you'd like, but I'm gonna end on the centerpiece. Oh, we I'm pray sorry. this closing prayer. Yes, for himself. Yes, for himself. Okay. So we pray for him. God, our yeah. Father, whom yeah. Kateri Tekakwitha called, like to call the Great Spirit, we thank you for having given us this young woman as a model of Christian life. Despite her frailness and her community's resistance, she bore witness to the presence of Christ. With her companions, she drew close to the elderly and to the sick. Every day she saw in nature a reflection of your glory and beauty. Grant that by her intercession, we may always be close to you, more sensitive to the needs of those around us and more respectful of creation. With her, we shall strive to discover what pleases you and endeavor to accomplish it until that day that you call us back to you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. We lift up all the animals for Michael. I'd like to pray for all the animals. Do you boys have any intentions? Uh, pray for Grandma. Leo. You pray for Grandma, for Leo's family. Uh, for Mama T's heel. Uh, heel. For Mama T's knee. For to Mama T's knee to get better. So we pray for all those things. And I pray for every single one of you that's joining us tonight and all of your families. We love praying with you all. We hope that you enjoyed praying the chaplet of St. Kateri Tekakwitha. If you would like one of her chaplets, let us know. We'll send them to you. And you can find all of the prayer sheets and all of the videos on our website at hrccr.com slash chaplets. What is next? Which one is next, next week is St. Christopher, Saint the one we all know, patron saint of travelers. St. Christopher is next week, and St. Martha is the week after. Thank you all so much for joining us. It was wonderful to see you all, and we feel honored and blessed to pray for all of your intentions. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night and a beautiful week. Good night. Oh, everyone's saying happy birthday. Good night, good night.